Hello everybody, this is Nettie over at Nettie H Creates. Today it is Project Share Time for Saturday Morning Makes, hosted by Jillian Norwood. My share for today is, it's like a little album. And first, I wanted to show everybody what I used for my materials. And this album is from the Cowboy Country by Stephen Duncan. This is an Echo Park paper set. So there's this set here that I had got it Tuesday morning. And then this as well. This as well I got it Tuesday morning. It's a 12 by 12 paper pad of single, single-sided sheets. Okay. And then I also used this ink pad and then I used these flowers here uh, as you can see I got these on red clut red tag clearance over at Hobby Lobby probably several years ago so I used some of those in my project and then I used this die right here to make my cactus And this die here, this one here is the coffee grinder. So I used that. And then I used, I believe it was this one here, this teapot. And then this stamp. And then I used a combination of these Nouveau drops liquid pearls and stickles and I just dropped one so here here's the other one so two sparkly stickles one yellow and red and then a nouveau drop and then this liquid pearl and I use these throughout the project and here is the outcome of the album that I made and this album I used, I believe it was five cards to make this set here. And I think I got the cards at Hobby Lobby when the package was on clearance. I don't really remember what the name of the box was, but the cards had a Western theme to them, so that's why I used them. And this album, I got the idea from a video that I watched from Andrea over at Crafting a Country Life. And I really like this Western paper, so I thought I would play around with that. And I found that these are good for, like if you wanna put in some pictures and stuff and a combination of other little crafty items that you wanna make as well. So here's the front cover. And here is the cactus that I made. I did the die cut and then up here for the little blossoms, this is where I use the, uh, the drops, the Nouveau drops. And then I made a little ribbon tassel right here. I thought these colors all went well with the colors in the paper. And these all came from one of those bundles at Michael's. And then here's this dangle here. It's got the little boot charm and then some wooden beads. And then this one is like a little turquoise. I think it's glass. And down along the bottom rim, I did a um, like a ribbon. And actually, I think this ribbon came from the same package that these, these ribbons came from that I got at Michael's. And then I just put a button on the end. And then this little cactus guy, I, I put uh, the little, um, oh, what are those called, those little sticky things, these guys here. I cut them up a little bit. I guess I got a Dollar Tree. Oops, sorry, didn't mean to do that. Uh, okay. All right, so let's open this up. And here is the first set of pages. And... 
this is opened here so you can put something in it if you want. I didn't put anything in it. You put in a picture. If you go on a nice little vacation with somebody, you could uh, make something like this for them and cut out some of the photos that you like if you took pictures and put them in here. Put some little Nouveau drops along the edge just to give it a pizzazz. And then I did this flower here from that package that I had show you. Prima Flowers and the other ones that were Paper Studio. This guy's the Paper Studio, the other ones are Prima. And then I did an envelope. I made this with my little envelope maker. I put in some like this straw ribbon as a bow just to jazz it up a little bit. And then in here, I just made some tags. But you could put anything else that you wanted in here. You could even put in a bunch of little pictures. So here's all the tags that I made. So that's this first page. So let's just shut that. And then down here is another little ribbon. And isn't this paper pretty? I don't know. It kind of looked a little Western to me. So that's why I used it. Well, it's not paper. It's from one of the cards, actually. And then here's the next page. Put in a little sequins mix that I made. And then I die cut some stars. I thought those went well. Whoops. And I made this little tag. Sorry, I'm kind of holding this up high. Let me move this down a little bit. I just love these. It's just so pretty. And then a little doily cuts. Like I got these uh, dies from... Um, Alley, I believe. And then I just put a little clothespin. So that's this page. Let's stick this back in here. Okay. And then down here is a pocket. So you can put pictures in there or whatever else you like. See, fits in there like that. You can't use four by six pictures because this measures, um, I think it's five and a half by four and a quarter. And then here's that boot stamp. Put a little star and then there's that coffee grinder. And then I have to say, also I want to mention, and I didn't make use of these, use of this, but in here is a little pocket as well. So each page, has a little pocket. I didn't glue it shut. I left it open. Each one. Yeah, except for the last one. So the one's in the middle. I don't think. No, that one doesn't open. Okay, and then the next page is this here. And once again, I just notice here this pretty paper. And this here, I only glued the top part and the bottom part to leave space or whatever it is that you want. This is like a bookmark that I had made. And then a little wooden star. And then down here, it's another pocket. And the boot, and this boot, I fussy cut the stamp. I did the stamp and then I colored it in. And then this is just a sticker from the collection. And then here's the next page. Here's a teapot from that, those dies that I showed you. And then I just put two little buttons and a heart and just some ribbon. And this one here is a pocket here and you would put whatever it is that you want there. And then down on the bottom, another pocket, some more of those flowers. I put a cactus and this one I did little, uh, the stickles here. And then here's the last page. And here is a pocket on here. Another cactus. Isn't it pretty? This one's a sparkly one. And then I put this tassel ribbon here. I thought this pulled out some of the blue. 
in the bison down below. And then here's another little place to put something. And then on the back, I just cut out three stars and just layered them to go along with the paper. I pulled colors from the, uh, the paper in. And that is my little mini album. And here are some more of these cactus that I made. I just, I kind of had fun making them, so I made a few. And when I made these, I used 110 pound cardstock, so I cut out two of each. And then I did my paper, and this is like a little green textured paper. And then I glued them together. Oh, and you'll see that, see this cactus here, or this die, has these little flower buds so I cut them off on the green, but I didn't cut them off when I cut my backing. So then I had space to put in my little stickles or my Nouveau drops, whatever it was that I decided to use. So just like here are some of the colors. Here's another one, another one. So these ones are a little darker green that's it. So I hope you enjoyed watching this video and perhaps found some inspiration. Thank you so much for tuning in and have yourself a great day and a great weekend. Bye for now. Till next time.